Hi everyone. Let's start this vinyasa class. So you will need maybe two blocks. Um, so we're going to start. So bring the two blocks just on the side and the T shape. So the first one is going to be the long uh, edge, and the second one is going to be just like a T shape for your head. And let's start seated. So crossing your legs or sitting on your heels and closing your eyes, bring your hands on your knees, lengthen your spine. Drop the shoulders down, relaxing your whole body, your legs, your arms, softening your face. Start with a full deep breath in and side out. When you side out, try to make it long and deep. Inhale again. And exhale. One last time to get deep breath in. Filling up your lungs with air. Hold your breath up. And release. Start already to be with your breath. Connecting to your inner sensations. And slowly bring your hands in prayer. Lift your heart and bow your brain into your heart. And make your intention for today so you can set your intention or just a feeling of gratitude. Anything that happened to you today that you're grateful for, or anyone. Or just feeling thankful to be able to step on your mat and practice yoga. Let's seal this intention with a deep breath in and a full exhale. I'm going to start the, the class with a chant of one ohm. You can also just listen to it. Take a deep breath in. And bring your hands down, open your eyes. So let's start with a heart opener today. So bring those blocks behind you as a T-shape in the middle of uh, here. So if you don't have blocks, you can also maybe roll a blanket behind your back to open to have a slight back bend and open the chest. So you're going to sit just behind on the long edge of the mat. You're going to bring your sole of the feet together. Bring your feet knees apart, feet close to you, so as close to your hips as you can. And you're going to start to lie down. So the first block is going to be just between the shoulder blades. So it shouldn't, it's not comfortable, but it shouldn't hurt. And the second block will be for your head, to support your head. So you can bring this at any uh, level that you want. Maybe you want the blocks level one, this is level two, maybe you want a level three. So level three is quite um, obviously quite intense, but maybe that's what you need today. And then relaxing your arms and relaxing your knees. Maybe you want to use other blocks or pillows or cushions underneath your knees if you're having sensitive knees. You can feel the overstretching of your knees. Dropping your shoulders down, open your heart and close the eyes. Just let everything just fall and drop on the ground. And once you found your comfort pose, your comfortable pose, and just trying to remain still, not to move. 
and still, still connect to your breathing. Take a deep breath in and deep breath out. I always find it quite interesting and very good to start with a heart opener. There's a lot of like upward dog or there's a lot of pose where we need to open, draw the shoulders back and just open the heart, pressing the heart forward. And so it's, it just makes it a little easier when we are, when we prepared before, when we warmed up. So that's a gentle way to warm up the the heart, the spine, shoulders. Just placing the blocks behind and not moving, just breathing. And then either you stay here because it just feels good here, you can really feel everything is opening, expanding, your spine is just softening and getting more flexible or you don't really feel a lot. So in that case, if you're more flexible, you can just press on your elbows and lift yourself up, roll on the side and readjust the block. So you can change, you can change the, the blocks. You can bring it to level three or level, maybe it's too much. You want to bring it to level one and start again between the shoulder blades and the second block underneath your head. Feet together, knees wide, arms down. So it's not the most comfortable pose, but it shouldn't bring any, any pain. If it brings sharp pain, then just maybe, maybe bring the blocks to level one or two. And connecting to your breathing again, letting go of your legs. Take a deep inhale and full exhale. Really having sensations of just being hang here. It's like you're having a string just in the middle of the heart. You just middle of the chest. You're having a string that's going up to the sky and summoning somebody from the sky is putting you up, putting your chest up. Shoulders are dropping, your head is heavy, legs are heavy. Staying with your sensations here. Staying. Just staying here. And then slowly inhale, bring your arms up to the sky. So stretch your arms up. And as you exhale, grab your elbows and then bring your arms over your head. So that can be quite intense. If that's too much for your shoulders or your arms, you can bring your arms down again. Otherwise, staying here for three breaths. Inhale, stretch your arms up again. Exhale, bring your arms down. Now push yourself up slowly, maybe press on your elbows or roll over to the side, removing the blocks away. Maybe you need it later. So bring the blocks in front of your mat and lie on your mat just, just one more time, just extending your legs, just to feel the difference. Extend your arms, drop your head down. And then feeling all the space you have now inside your chest, the space you have created with this heart opener, opening pose. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. 
you probably can appreciate and feel the space you have, more space to breathe. Maybe you can also feel your shoulders softening and just dropping down more heavily to the mat or maybe your spine light and soft. Now slowly bring your knees to your chest, hug your knees in and you can sway from side to side. And then cross your ankles, cross your ankles, and then slowly start to rock forward and back, massaging your spine up and down until you reach the momentum to come to all fours. So bring your hands just shoulders distance, knees hip width distance, spread your fingers wide. Inhale, tuck your toes under. And as you exhale, come to downward facing dog. So you can start slowly by pedaling your feet one by one. If you want to open your chest to the right, to the left, just unsquare the shoulders, right, left. Breathing here. Keeping your feet open about hip width distance, about two feet away. Hmm. Now feel the connection under your hands with the earth. And inhale, lift your heels and bend your knees. And as you exhale, press through your hands to lengthen your back, pressing the sit bones back and up. Really find that flat back, that length. Draw the shoulders away from your face. Inhale. And as you exhale, try to keep that length on your back and bring the heels down. If you lose that flat back, then keep your heels slightly lifted and your knees slightly bent. Inhale, look forward between your hands. And as you exhale, start to walk your feet to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift to lengthen, look forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift again. Really reaching far with the crown of the head forward and back with the hips. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And as you exhale, fold and slowly come up, vertebrae by vertebrae, to a standing pose. And let's start with Surya A. We're going to do two Surya Namaskar A. So bring your arms down, shoulders down and slightly back, gaze forward. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, arms reaches up, gaze up. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen here. Exhale, bring your palms down and step back to plank. Lower down, chaturanga. Maybe you want to bring your knees down for supported chaturanga. Firm the forearms in, look forward. Inhale, slide your heart forward and up for a facing dog. Shoulders down. Exhale, downward facing dog. Staying here for five deep breaths. One. Spread your fingers wide, really root your hands on the mat. Gaze between your knees. Lengthen your spine. Four. And five. Inhale, look forward. Step to the front of the mat. Exhale. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, arms down. One last time. Inhale. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, Adha Uttanasana. Exhale, step or jump back. 
Chaturanga, plank pose, lower down. Inhale, Udva Mukha, Svanasana. Pressing your chest forward, shoulders down, gaze up. Exhale, Adho Mukha, Svanasana. One. Breathing here, three. Four. And five, inhale, look forward. Prepare to step your feet or jump to the front of the mat. Exhale. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen your heart, reach forward. And as you exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Bring your arms up, gaze at your thumbs. Exhale, arms down. Now bring your feet open, like maybe a little more than your hips, so hip width distance, maybe a little bit more than hip width distance. Bring your hands on your hips and then draw the elbows behind you. So shoulder blades together behind your back. Shoulder blades are touching. Inhale, slightly open your heart, gaze up, micro bend your knees. And as you exhale, fold and bring your hands down. You can either hook your toes, your peace fingers, or bring your hands on your calf's muscle, or maybe just bring your fingers on the ground. Inhale, halfway, lift here. So try to really Pressing your heart towards the front of the mat. Draw your hips towards the back of the mat. And as you exhale, bow, keeping that length. And then bow. The crown of the head is pointing down to the ground. You can keep your knees micro bent. And then bringing your belly on your thighs to rest. Elbows on the side. Using your toes, so you're going to lift your toes to to bring the belly onto your thighs and trying to draw the head closer and closer to the ground. So really use your fingers to lift your toes up, to press yourself down. Breathing here. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Release and bring your palms down. Exhale, step back, downward facing dog. Now press the left foot firmly down on the mat. Inhale, lift and stretch the right leg up, back, three-legged dog. And as you exhale, bring the right knee to your chest, coming to a plank pose and step your right foot in front, just in front of you. Coming to warrior two, bring the back heel down, open your back foot to 90 degree angle, bend the front knee, inhale, we meet your arms up. Exhale, release here. So make sure you're having the right heel to the back arch, so aligning the front heel to arch and shoulders down, stretching your arms in both directions. Collect your fingers and gaze towards your right fingertips. Now pressing down through your left foot. The other edge of the left foot is pushing on the ground. Now inhale, reverse warrior. So bring your left hand down behind you on the left thigh, right arm up. And as you exhale, stretching the front leg, and lean slightly forward to come to Uttita Trikonasana, triangle pose. Left arm up, lean slightly back, really stretch the left arm up to the sky. Maybe gaze up at your left hand. Now inhale, look down at your right foot, bend the right knee, Bring the knee, the front knee above the ankle and bring the right hand on the floor or bring a block and use a block inside your left foot to bring your right hand on. Staying here, inhale. And as you exhale, press your right arm against your shin bone to open the hip to the outside. So you're pressing to the right side and open and revolve your heart up to the sky. Pressing, keep on hugging your right hip towards the middle line of the mat. Lengthening through the left arm, 
lengthening through the left leg, pressing, keep on pressing the pinky toe edge of the left foot on the mat as you stretch your neck and the crown of the head to the front of the mat. Breathing here. Now inhale, bring the left arm over your head, palm is facing down, and try to reach far forward as your left palm is reaching the ground. Now the right hand goes on the other side of the foot. You're going to lift the back heel and pivot the foot, the back foot. Stretch the front leg. Now you can shorten your stand and then bring, either you can slightly lift the back heel or you can bring the left heel down. Square in your hips, so press your right hip back and your left hip forward. Fingertips on the mat. You can also have blocks here if you're more comfortable. You can also have blocks here that would be more comfortable to lengthen. Inhale, halfway, lift and lengthen. So keep on drawing the right hip to the back of the mat. And as you exhale, fold, Parshvottanasana. Inhale, halfway, lift again, lengthen and keep on drawing the right hip to the back of the mat. And as you exhale, bow. Inhale, halfway, lift. And as you exhale, coming to reverse triangle pose. So bring your left hand flat on the mat inside your, your right foot or over your, your right foot. And as you exhale, bring your right arm up to the sky. Keep on bringing and really bring your right hip to the back of the mat. Stretch your right arm up to the sky. Now inhale, look down at your right foot, bend the right knee and then slowly bring your left foot a little further away from you towards the back of the mat to lower your hips down, keeping the right knee above the ankle. And slowly press your left hand down to the mat to open your heart up to the sky, gaze up. Breathing here. Now coming to Vashistasana side plank, inhale, look down and then bring all 10 toes to the right side of the mat. Bring your knife edge of the left foot on the ground and then stretch the right leg over the left or in front of the left leg and stretching, press through your left hand to lift your hips. Breathing here. Maybe give your right hand, really stretch the right arm up. Inhale, look down to the front of the mat. And as you exhale, bring the right hand down to coming to plank pose. Inhale here. Exhale, come to downward facing dog. Inhale, stretch the right leg up and back behind you, three-legged dog. Exhale, bring the knee to your chest. And then coming to a plank pose, hug the right knee in, inhale. Exhale, step the right foot forward, bring the left knee down, low lunge. Inhale, come all the way up, bring your arms over your head, maybe gaze up. Exhale, sink in your hips deeper down towards your mat. And keep on drawing the right hip back as you press your left hip forward. Inhale, look down at your right foot, and as you exhale, start to press through your right leg, right foot to stretch your leg, bring your toes up, come on your heel, and bring your hands down on the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, Adha Hanumanasana, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen here. Keep on pressing the right hip to the back of the mat. Exhale, fold. You can micro bend your front knee if it's too much for the back of the leg. Inhale, halfway lift. 
and exhale, bring the sole the right foot down, tuck the back toes under, and lift left knee and bring your hands forward, stretching both legs, lifting your right foot and step back downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and deep breath out. So let's do the same on the other side. Inhale, lift the left leg up and back, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend the knee, bring the knee to your heart, and then coming into a plank pose. And step the left foot between your hands. Spin the back heel down and open to a 90 degree angle. Keep the left knee bent. Inhale, we make your arms up. Exhale, warrior two. Pressing the knife, the outer edge of your right foot down. And aligning your, your left foot, your left heel with your right arch. Lower the hips. Shoulders down, stretch your arms, gaze towards your left fingertips. Breathing here. Inhale, reverse, warrior left arm up, right hand down. Really lengthen the side of your chest. Exhale, stretch the left leg and lean forward. Go and really bring the left arm far forward and bring the arm right arm up. Lean slightly back, press your hips forward. Uttita Trikonasana, Triangle Pose. Breathing here. Now inhale, look towards your left foot and then bend the left knee, aligning the knee with your ankle. Bring your left palm down. And as you exhale, Open up to Parsha Konasana. Keeping the right arm up. Pressing your left shin bone with your left arm and hugging your left hip towards the middle of the mat. Inhale, reach far with your right arm over your head, palms facing down, reaching far, far. And as you exhale, bring the right hand down, left hand goes to the other side. Now pivot the back foot, lifting your heel, shorten your stand and squaring your hips, stretching both legs. Maybe use the blocks here. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bow. Inhale, halfway lift. Bring the right palm either using the block beside your right foot or over your right foot, your left foot. Inhale, lift, drawing the left hip towards the back of the mat. And as you exhale, lift the left arm up to the sky, reverse triangle pose. Drawing your left hip towards the back of the mat. Maybe gaze your left hand. Now inhale, look down at your left foot. Bend the left knee and then bring your right foot further away towards the end of the mat. And lower your hips down, gaze up at your left hand. Now as you inhale, bring all 10 toes facing the left side of the mat and then leaning on the knife edge of the right foot to coming to Vashistas and on the other side. So bring the left leg back over your right leg or left foot over the right foot for more stability. And pressing through your right hand to lift your hips, maybe gaze your left hand. Keep on stretching your left arm. Inhale, look down to the front of the mat. Exhale, bring the left palm down, coming to a plank pose. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, coming to downward facing dog. Inhale, lifting the left leg up and back. And as you exhale, bring, bring the knee to your chest and then shift your weight forward to a plank pose and step the left foot forward. Right knee down for Anjayanasana. You can untuck the back toes. Inhale, coming all the way up. Bring your arms up to the sky, stretch the fingers, stretch the arms, shoulders down, inhale, stretch, exhale, release the hips down, keep the hips square, 
Keep on pressing the right hip forward. Inhale, look down at your left foot. And as you exhale, push the floor away with your left foot to stretch the left leg. And then lifting your toes, coming on your left heel, bring your hands down, open your heart to the left leg. Inhale, halfway, lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift again. Exhale, bow. Inhale, halfway lift. And as you exhale, bring the foot down, hands forward, tuck the back toes under, under, and then just stretch your legs, so lift your back knee. And then press on your hands to lift your left foot and bring the left leg back to downward facing dog. Let's take one vinyasa here, or maybe you wanna stay here coming to a child pose. Inhale, coming to a plank pose. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga, or support a chaturanga with your knees down, but firm the forearms in. Look forward, keep the core engaged. Inhale, Audva Mukha Svanasana. Slide your heart forward, shoulders down, gaze up. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Deep breath in. And a cleansing breath out. Inhale, right leg up and back, three-legged dog. Exhale, bring the right knee to your heart and shift your weight forward to a plank pose. Step the right foot forward. Left knee, left foot down, coming to warrior two, inhale. Exhale, shoulders down, stretch your arms, lower your hips. Gaze towards your right hand. Inhale, reverse, stretch the right side of the, of the chest. Exhale, stretch your front leg and lean to the side. Go and get very far with your right arm, right hand down, left arm up. Uttita Trikonasana. Maybe gaze at your left hand. Inhale, look down at your right foot and as you exhale, bend the right knee and bring the right hand flat just, in, just inside your right foot or on a block. Inhale here. And maybe as you exhale, you're going to turn the palm to your back, bend your elbow, and then maybe bring your left hand behind your back, maybe grab your right inner thigh, and then slightly press your right hand down on the mat or on the block to revolve your heart open towards the sky. Maybe gaze up. Inhale, stretch the left arm up. And as you exhale, bring the left arm over your head and reaching far forward, bring the left palm down. Now right hand goes to the other side of the foot. Lift your back heel and stretch the right leg. And then maybe shorten your stance, squaring your hips. Inhale, halfway lift. Draw the right hip to the back of the mat and as you exhale, fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, bow. Inhale, lift, halfway there. And then as you exhale, you're gonna bring your left palm down, right arm up for reverse triangle pose. Keep on really bring the right, hug the right hip towards the left. Now inhale, look down at your right foot, maybe look further away, bend your right knee, we're going to come to reverse half moon pose. So maybe you will need a block here, maybe you can just bring your fingers on the ground or you want to bring a block and then slowly lift your left leg up, keeping the right arm up to the sky, lengthen, pressing your left hand on the block and revolve your heart towards your right arm, trying to lift the left leg as high as you can. Now either you stay there or you can bend the knee and then grabbing the other edge of the foot. Inhale, lift and lengthen. And as you exhale, kick the foot against the hand and open the right shoulder, lifting the left knee up. Inhale, slowly release, looking down at your mat. And as you exhale, bring the left toes down, keep the right arm up, left hand down and Slowly turn, gaze at your right hand.
Now bring all 10 toes facing the right side of the mat, leaning on the knife to the left foot and bring the right leg back behind you, side plank. Either you stay here in the side plank and you focus on your balance or you can lift your right leg up and playing around, making shape, maybe tree pose, maybe catch your foot, stretch your leg, pressing through your left hand. Now inhale, slowly release and coming to a plank pose. Stretch your right leg behind you, so keep the right leg lifted. Shoulders over your wrist, lifting your right leg and really stretch through your toes. Inhale, and as you exhale, bring the right knee to your left elbow. Inhale, stretch the right leg back, lengthen. Exhale, knee to your right elbow. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, knee to your heart. And step the right foot forward, left knee down. Inhale, come all the way up. Untuck the toes, bring your arms over your head. Exhale, release. Now interlace your fingers and then point your index fingers up like a peaceful gun. Then really lengthen the sides of your chest, keeping your hips square. Inhale, lift. And as you exhale, slowly start to lean back. But first, before you lean back with your chest, try to press your heart up. Go up with your heart. And then when you come, go further up, you go back. Inhale, come back. Looking down under your arms. And as you exhale, stretch the front leg to come to Adha Hanumanasana. Hands down. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And as you exhale, bring the sole of the right foot on the mat, right hand inside your right leg. And then bring your hands away on the left side of the mat. Keep the left palm down in the middle, aligned with the middle of the mat. And then bring the right arm up. Now that you stay here, or you circle your right arm to the back of the mat and then lift the left leg, the left foot. So bend the knee and lift the foot. Grab the other edge of the foot. Inhale, press through your right foot to lift your hips up. And then bring the, the left heel towards your left glute. And as you exhale, try to keep the left heel to the glute and slowly melt down, your hips down. Inhale, slowly release, right arm up. Exhale, bring both hands on your mat. Keep them inside your right leg and then stretch the right leg, lifting your toes, stretching your arms. Inhale, lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold, bring your arms as far forward as you can. Inhale, lift, halfway lift. Exhale, bring the sole of the right foot down. Bring your hands, your right hand on the other side of the, of the foot. Now tuck the back toes under and lift the back knee. Stretch your legs, press through your hands to lift your right foot and step back downward facing dog. Take a deep inhale and a long exhale. Last time on the left side. Inhale, lift and stretch left leg up. Exhale, bring the knee to your chest, coming to a plank, step the left foot forward, coming to warrior two, right foot down, 90 degree in, inhale, come all the way up, exhale, chilling here, warrior two, inhale, reverse the warrior, exhale, stretch the left leg and lean and try to reach far with your left hand and left hand down, right arm up, Uttita Trikonasana, lean slightly back, Hips forward. Inhale, look down at your left foot. And as you exhale, bend the left knee and keep your right arm up. Now staying here, or oh, inhale. And as you exhale, turn your right palm to the back, towards your back, bend the elbow, and maybe bring the left arm, your left hand, on the left inner thigh or behind your back. 
and keep on opening, revolving your heart upwards. Inhale, stretch your right arm up to the sky. And as you exhale, bring your right arm over your head and go and reach far, far to the front of the mat. Right hand down. Now bring the left hand on the other side of the foot. Lift your back heel, stretch your legs, shorten your stand and square in your hips, Parjvottanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Maybe use blocks here. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And as you exhale, bring your right palm down, left arm up for reverse triangle pose, drawing the left hip towards the back of the mat. And now for reverse half moon pose, Parivrita Ardha Chandrasana. Inhale, look down to the front of the mat, bend the left knee and bring the right hand forward. Slowly lift your right leg up, lifting the right leg as high as you can. And maybe either point the toes or flex the foot to energize the right leg. And keep twisting and turning to the left side, pressing your right hand on the block. Elongating your left arm up to the sky. Stay here or bend the knee and grab the outer edge of the foot. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, kicking the foot against the hand to open the left shoulder, lifting your right leg. Breathing here. Inhale, slowly release. And as you exhale, step the right foot to the back of the mat, right hand down, left arm up. Inhale here. And as you exhale, bring all 10 toes to the left side of the mat, leaning on the knife edge of the right foot, coming to Vashistasana side plank. Taking any shapes you want here. Three, any shape you want. Inhale, look down, and as you exhale, stretch the left leg, but keep the left leg up, coming to a high plank with your left leg stretched and lift. Inhale here, and as you exhale, bend the knee and bring the knee to your right elbow. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, knee to heart. And step the left foot forward, right knee down. Untuck the toes. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale. Melting here. Interlace your fingers, keeping the index fingers pointing up. Inhale, stretch in the sides of your chest. Lengthen. And as you exhale, slowly lean back. Inhale, come back up. And as you exhale, press your left foot to lift your toes, stretch your legs, and bring your hands down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, and as you exhale, bring the sole of the left foot on the mat. Left hand goes to the right side, and walk your hands to the right side of the mat. Bring your right hand flat, spread your fingers wide, just in the middle of the, of the mat, long edge of the mat, and then bring your left arm up to the sky. Now, stay here or circle your left arm to the back of the mat and then bend your knee, lifting your foot, grabbing the other edge of the foot. Inhale, press through your left foot to lift your hips. Bring your right heel towards your right glute. And as you exhale, melting everything down. Breathe here. Inhale, slowly release, left arm up. Exhale, bring your hands to the mat inside your left leg. And start to stretch your left leg, lifting your toes, reaching far with your fingers, maybe spider your fingers on the mat. Inhale, 
halfway lift your heart is reaching far forward and as you exhale bow inhale halfway lift and as you exhale bring the foot on the ground hands on either side of the foot tuck the back toes under lift your right knee stretch your legs press through your hands inhale lift your foot exhale downward facing dog Let's take one last vinyasa for this class. Inhale to plank. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, Audha Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Now inhale, lift and stretch your right leg up and back, three-legged dog. Exhale, bring the right knee to your right elbow. Coming into plank pose, shoulders over, over your wrist. Inhale here. Exhale, slide your right knee down behind your right wrist and bring the right foot over to the left side for pigeon pose. Stretch the left leg. Bring your hands on the outside of your mat. Inhale, press your heart forward, your shoulders down, open up, maybe gaze up. Press the left hip forward so your hips are square facing the front of the mat. Stay here or as you exhale all the way down and be on your forearms or on your hands. Breathing here, just letting go. Reconnect to your intention, to your breath. If you've lost it. Inhale, slowly come back up. And as you exhale, lean on the right, right hip and then stretch the left leg forward. For Janusha Shasana. So you're going to bring your right foot on the inner left thigh bring your right knee down if that's too much for your knee you can bring a block or anything underneath your right knee flexing the left foot bring your hips forward so your torso is facing towards your left leg bring your hands down inhale open up shoulders down and as you exhale keeping that length try to reach far and up with your heart and leaning on the left leg bring your arms down or maybe grabbing your toe or maybe just grabbing your left if you're very flexible you can grab your left um, wrist with your right hand breathing here Inhale, slowly coming back up. And as you exhale, bring the right knee up for a twist here. So the right foot is on the ground. Left foot is still stretched and flex here. And then bring the right hand behind you. So as you inhale, inhale you're going to lift and stretch the left arm up. And as you exhale, turn to the right side of the mat and you hook the left elbow against the right, the right knee. Inhale again, lift and lengthen, keep the left foot flex, and as you exhale, twist, press your elbow against the knee to revolve your chest towards the back of the mat. You can close your eyes or find a soft gaze, and every time you inhale, you lengthen, sitting up straight, and every time you exhale, you're twisting. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, release. Now, keep the right leg um, as it is and then bring the left shin to the front of the mat. And then, which I'm going to change size, so stretch your right leg behind for pigeon left side. Bring your hips to, to be square, so press your right hip forward and down. Spider your fingers outside your yoga mat. 
Inhale, open here, open your heart. Curve, slightly curving your back, shoulders down, gaze up. Exhale, keeping that length and go far, far, far forward. Leaning down on your elbows, maybe on your hands. Inhale, slowly coming up. Exhale, leaning on the left side, on left hip, and bring your right leg forward. Stretch your leg, flex your foot, bringing the left foot on, on the right inner thigh. Bring your hands forward. Inhale, open up, lengthen here. And as you exhale, fold. Janusha Shasana, breathing here. Maybe you can grab your right wrist with your left hand. Maybe you just want to grab your, your shin. Maybe you want to bring the hands on the ground and just letting go here. Inhale, slowly coming up. And as you exhale, bring the left knee up, left foot down, keep the right foot flex. Bring the left hand behind your back. Inhale, lift and stretch your right arm up. Exhale, twist. Same thing here. As you inhale, you lengthen. As you exhale, you twist. Keep the right foot flex and active. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, slowly release. Stretching your legs. You can shake your legs a little bit. And then bend your knees, bring your feet down. Bring your hips closer to your heels and lie all the way onto your back for bridge pose and maybe your wheel pose. So make sure you can feel your heels with your fingers, keeping your toes pointing forward and keep your knees also up. Try not to open the knees to the side. Hug the shoulders behind you and then slowly press through your feet to lift your hips up. So maybe you want to take it easy today and maybe you, wanna, you just want to place a block, taking this as a restorative pose and just place a block underneath your, your sacrum here and then just stay there and then just enjoy at any level you want. Maybe you just want that. Maybe you want to interlace your fingers and then really squeeze your palms together and press your hands on the floor and press on your feet to lift your hips and engage all the muscles. Staying there or for wheel pose bring your hands on either side of your ears, fingers pointing towards your shoulders, and hug your elbows in, keeping your toes pointing forward and knees pointing forward. Slowly pressing your hands to come to the crown of the head, making sure to readjust your, your stand here, toes point forward. Inhale, exhale, lifting your heart. Breathing here. Stretch your arms, keeping your toes pointing forward. Try not to open the feet to the outside. Keep the toes in. Maybe you want to stretch your legs a little bit. Working on the shoulder flexibility. When you're ready to come down, inhale, tuck your chin on your chest. Exhale, come all the way down. Now bring your knees to your chest, give yourself a squeeze. And then stretch the left leg down and keep the right knee hugged onto your heart. Inhale, exhale, bring the right knee to the left side for a twist, extend the right arm. 
Either you stay there or you want to stretch the right leg and then grab the other edge of your foot with your left hand. Take it a little deeper, a little more intense. And then slowly bend the right knee to your heart, extend the right leg down and changing side. Bring the left knee onto your chest, squeeze the knee in, inhale. And as you exhale, bringing the, right, the left knee to your right side, extend the left arm, staying here or maybe grab the other edge of your left foot and grabbing with your right hand. Trying to keep your left shoulder on the mat. And when you're ready, slowly bend the left knee, inhale. Come back, bring your knees to your chest. Release. Inhale, lifting your head to your knees. And side out. Extend your legs and getting ready for Shavasana. Turning your palms up to the sky. Closing your eyes, softening your face. Align your thighs and your feet to externally rotate. Just roll onto the outside. Connecting to your breath, allowing, allowing the practice to, to marinate, to simmer in your body, in your mind. Observing the new space you have created. Now staying here, so you can stay here for as long as you want. Or start slowly to come back to yourself by maybe just circling your ankles and your wrists wiggling your toes, your fingers, stretching your arms over your head, bending your knees and slowly rolling over to your side. And then pressing down on your left hand to come, on your hands to come up to a sitting pose, comfortable sitting pose. Bring your hands together in front of the heart. Slightly path your heart up and bow your head towards your hands. In your own way, thank yourself for, for practicing, for finding time to practice yoga. Let's close this practice with one ohm. Take a deep breath in. Thank you so much for joining today. Namaste. Thank you everyone and I hope to see you soon, maybe in a few minutes for the yin class. Thank you.